Acorn and Cole are so composed, so chill. You'd never think they're sitting at a line. Me and he was like, come on, bro. Like, you can land somewhere else, bro. I'm just like, it's not happening. in the practice room yet so i haven't seen many people but i know a lot of the eu kids are playing who is someone that su uh, surprised you for either their under preparation or over preparation that you've seen since you've been here Kanata's under preparation i saw him actually not bring an extra set of peripherals to practice with first three days in copenhagen has been like it's been kind of, it's been pretty, it's been okay, but I'm kind of jet lagged still. Like I've been sleeping around like 2, 3 p.m. Copenhagen time. It's either just chilling in my room, but like finally today, I think I'll have my sleep schedule ready for tomorrow, which is, I'm playing tomorrow. Going out with some people, some friends, we've been in the metro, you don't really do that back in the U.S. You know, exploring downtown, which is a really nice place overall, the people are friendly, we're just having a good time. I think at this tournament, there will definitely be an advantage for me, just because a lot of the people are players that qual through not really lucky spots, but like, they dropped it down very far for people to be able to qual. In my opinion, having 150 people at a, usually 100 people land, should is just way too much and having a upper bracket and a lower bracket i don't think it's a smart idea how do you think epics handled this event and from what you've seen from other esports this game is dog shit. i don't genuinely give too much thought into the state of fortnite anymore i mean as far as everything's being handled i mean nothing's been bad sorry peter walked in i had to laugh i rather like people don't think i'm gonna win than think i'm gonna win you know i like to be the guy who comes out on top the underdog kind of thing. Is that real? Bro, put the camera away. You're like... <laughs> Thomas, I haven't talked to them at all about anything. The only time I've talked to him was today when he just came up to me and he was like, come on, bro, like, you can land somewhere else, bro. And I'm just like, it's not happening. I think my dad's waiting outside. Yeah, okay. 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 I don't really like to think I'm the best, you know? I just kind of try my best. I mean, if people think I'm the best, that's, that's cool. I'm just trying my best, really. <laughs> It's a sponsor, though. It's a sponsor? Yeah. Oh, what did you like? What did you get? It's still going! He's fouled two! That's 11 eliminations for Larkins of the low. But NA takes the game, A for the goal! White heels, which he needed. Granted, it might not be necessary. We walked out to the arena for the first time yesterday. You know, I, I thought it was honestly pretty cool. Compared to Invitational, the last one, this one was definitely kind of an upgrade. Walking out on stage yesterday was pretty cool. This time I felt like there was no pressure. Walking out on stage, just, I kind of just felt the energy, you know? It's nice. Even better. I guess where I'm more nervous playing at home than here. Just because there's more at the stake, everyone's on the same playing field, so you know that no one's has some unfair advantage. I also like having a crowd there because I feel like it's only positive because when you're doing good, you hear a crowd, momentum, everything like that. Is there anything that you're doing to prepare for essentially having to do it all again? Uh, I think the best way for me to prepare is just by doing what I've been doing, you know, playing the game, watching other teams, you know, learning, VOD reviewing, scrims, all that type of stuff. The thing about like both of my wins is like most of the time you can tell like as a viewer kind of who's gonna win. Flex has to clutch this! Oh and he gets the shot! First time the crowd has ever screamed bro when Clix wins. For this one it was a 1v2 and everyone's like okay they're gonna win and then I 1v2 and it was crazy. <laughs> freaks out like especially when it's in those last seconds and yeah and it's like that the game's just so like, easy when you're uncontested i feel incredibly confident i knew how easy the games were going to be today you were here to meet and uh get a danish girlfriend 
Like, I'm, I'm not gonna lie, I'm here to find a girlfriend, you know what I'm saying? A Dan the Danish girls are here, they're pretty beautiful, so. Have you made any progress on that whatsoever? It's just not happening. Has there been any attempts? There's been an attempt. Who? Friend. <laughs> Do you feel like the crowd helps your game? Oh, I know what they're, what's gonna happen, what they're gonna cheer for, and what they're not gonna cheer for, but after I win some games tomorrow, they're gonna have to cheer for me. Thinking about winning, just... That's awesome. That would be so awesome. Every game matters a little bit more, but it also kind of takes away from if something super crazy out of the unordinary happens and you get screwed over. It's like you can't prepare for something six games. It's like it's not a 12 game format. You could be preparing 12 hours a day, this and that. Something doesn't happen that right that day and you have a bad day. It's over. Malabuka still shuttered up, but it's not gonna be enough. Kanata takes damage. Oh. Thomas is already half health, and the fight has barely just begun. Kanata gets the first strike. Thomas goes down. Malabuka by himself. He's on the chase for Agers. Agers doesn't look like he has a weapon. It's all up to Kanata, and he strikes while the iron's hot. And they do just that, but Thomas HD does have a weapon as well. Kanata has a side angle here onto Thomas HD, and he throws the first tag. It's a trade, but he gets the full finish, and he won't get healed. And now, Kanata and Agers are on top game number one. We've NA versus EU all weekend long here. And EU has been the one to pay the price so far, but, but both times fully situated here to two. I, I don't know what to tell you. Like, I just, I said it. I said, don't, just don't do it, bro. It's not gonna go, it's not gonna go well. Like, now that solidifies me as one of the best all spawn fighters in the world. So no one will ever contest me again. Seventh place, could've done better, could've done worse. Feels good, but I just think about how it feels to leave with a trophy, you know? Good feeling though. I'll be back. I was smiling. I was smiling. I was like, I, it's, it was bound to happen. Like, I can't change anything. That's just how it is when you're contested. You can't do anything better. And that's literally one of the best EU teams in the world. They got humiliated. I looked at them walking out. They were head down. Like, they were depressed. Because they, they wanted the most. Yeah, I don't really know what we were expecting too much, but not too happy. I don't know. I kind of want to get over. I have like a weird habit of like my first game in tournaments. I always do bad. I'm not sure why. It's not even like nerves or anything. I think it's just like it's like a feeling of being unwarmed up. Like I feel like my brain's unwarmed up. Just everything's unwarmed up. And then after the first game, it usually gets better. And you know, today the, after the first three games, it didn't get better. So that kind of threw me off. I was I was out of it. But all I was thinking of was making sure they don't play a single game out and making sure that I just come out on top. Lift that truck! I just want to say, you know, thank you to the people that support me and still choose to support me to this day. I always appreciate that. That's always something I'm very appreciative. That's where I grinded so hard. You did. Yeah. I put in so much. The whole every time I could be in the practice room, I would be in. And that's why you place the highest. Gym. I'm gonna keep that's doing it. that until I win. I'm gonna try my best to make a comeback here and you know we'll see where we go from here but my past two land placements haven't been the best so I mean we need to we need to step it up we need to make something out of this and you know we're gonna lock in I'll try my best